if you know what that is, that is pure comfort food. Welcome back to the Midlife Ride. It is day six and I'm kind of getting a little sad. Like the end seems so close. I have no idea where those last five days went. We thought we would try our luck on Fremont Street, downtown Vegas, because yesterday, not so great. Maybe we'll turn things around here on Fremont Street. I'm hopeful, I'm always hopeful. I guess we're just gonna see what happens. I don't know how long we're gonna stay. So yeah, we're just gonna hop from casino to casino here on Fremont. We're going to go to Donut Bar first though to grab a couple of donuts because you pretty much just have to do that when you come down to Fremont. So uh, let's go. We are going to buy some tickets. We're gonna brave the bus. And I talked to a woman, she said it was, it was pretty good. Um, they have limited the passengers to about 38 and um, she said everyone was wearing masks. They didn't have any seats blocked off, but she said everybody was pretty much spaced apart. So we are going to check it out for ourselves so that we can report back on all of the various options for transportation during this trip. We need two 24-hour access passes. There we go, two. Money, please. So it's really as easy as that. You select your tickets, you enter your credit card or cash, and you wait for your tickets to come out. Hopefully. Yeah, this is taking a really long time, actually. Retrieve ticket, transaction approved. There it is. Woo, that was scary. We got them. Now we're gonna catch the bus to Fremont. apple fritter I used to love like apple pies we never went to fast food restaurants when I was a kid very often but every once in a while my dad would take us to McDonald's and I would always get an apple pie but apple fritter sounded really good because I haven't had this in a while yep that tastes exactly like I thought it would pretty good now I'm gonna try the Nutella Chris loves Nutella all right ready Mmm. <laughs> that is delicious. Oh my goodness. The thing I love about these donuts, and I've said it before, is that they're not greasy. They're very cakey. Because we're really not big donut people. But I definitely recommend you try this, even if you don't like donuts, because it's really nothing. Nothing like what you can get anywhere else. Okay, we are at El Cortez this morning playing Spin It Grand and I said free games on a 50 cent bet. So let's see what happens. Eight free games. 
Not much yet. Three of eight coming up. Come on, man. That might be good. Nice. All right. <laughs> Free game four of eight coming up. Let's go. Three right. game six of eight next. Come on. What did that do? Get those. Oh. Come on, money. Come on. Okay. All right. So it's kind of like lightning link. It resets every time you fill one in. So. Come on, baby. Come on. Last one, we need one. Come on. Oh. Come on, Major. Come on, Graham. Come on. Not too bad. And you still have a reason Yeah. Too. Right. Okay. So now seven of eight. Come on, let's get more free games. Nope. So twenty three twenty on that on those free games. Nice, honey. Good start to the day. All right, we just stopped at El Cortez, played a few slots, hit a little bit of something on one machine, didn't play any video poker because the only games that have our games are at the bar and all those machines are shut down right now. So we're going to make our way back up Fremont and go play some video poker somewhere. Yeah. All right, it is lunch break time, and we decided to come to a new place, Aloha Specialties in the California. And uh, we got the Loco Moco, which is a hamburger patty served over rice with an over easy egg on top and then some brown gravy. And then we also, also got a chicken bowl, which is chicken over rice. We added broccoli to it and with some uh, teriyaki sauce. So let's see what we have here. Ooh. You know what that is? That is pure comfort food. It's just really simple but really good. It's very much like Salisbury steak uh, with the fried egg cooked perfectly on it over the rice. That's, um, I really like this. And now for the chicken. I'm going to dip it in the teriyaki sauce. You know, that's really good too. It's just like fried chicken um, 
but like home fried chicken. It's really hard to describe, but it reminds me of the way my grandmother used to make it. That's what it tastes like. It doesn't taste like other restaurant fried chicken at all. Very much a home flavor, which I love. Broccoli's really good, teriyaki sauce is really good. It's a really good, really good food. And this is a cheap eat. I mean, we only paid like $15.95 for both these huge plates of food. Um, so if you're hungry, you're down on Fremont, this is a great place to go. Oh my God, I'm so full. Okay, I wanted to add my two cents about this meal at Aloha Specialties only because I am absolutely blown away, impressed with the quality of the food that they have served us. This is not my typical kind of food. Like, honestly, when she brought it over, I thought, wow, it's a bowl of rice with chicken and broccoli, and it literally just looked like that. And Chris's explanation, it wasn't very descriptive, but that's the thing. Like, he hit the nail right on the head. Like, there's not much more to say about these dishes. They're so basic, but they're so delicious. Like, surprisingly delicious. Like, the best home-cooked meal your mother ever made you. Delicious. I might need a nap because we ate pretty much everything except some of the rice. I, I just don't know what else to say other than you have to try this. You have to come here and try this food. I'm so full, but I'm still picking the rice because the rice is not like regular rice. I don't even know how to explain it. It's not like what you order from your neighborhood Chinese restaurant. It's, it's fluffy yet mushy. I, does that make sense? I don't know, but it's addictive. It's like, it's just, it's like crack on a plate. I, I will sit here and probably eat the rest of it if Chris, if Chris does not get me out of this place. three times today. We are making up for the meal we missed yesterday. And I don't like to really eat too late at night. It, we, it's midnight, we just got back to the room. Um, but I am forever complaining that there are not enough vegetables on pizza and or pizzas with only vegetables. And in particular, mushrooms, I think are so underutilized when I walked by this restaurant and saw a pizza named Mushroom Lovers, I couldn't pass it up. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Mmm. <laughs> that is mushroomy and delicious. It would have been better had we had it right out of the oven because they heated them up and they looked really good, but we had to walk back to the hotel. But still, oh my goodness. The mushroom flavor is really strong. I'm sure you've heard me say before that sometimes the mushrooms don't taste like anything. These do, so I'm really happy with this slice. And we got this at a place called Pizza di Italia. And I got the pepperoni and jalapeno slice. So let's give it a shot. Nice crunch on the crust. It's a Really good late night slice of pizza is what this is. Yesterday was started off strange. The middle part was strange. The end part was strange. <laughs> Pretty consistent with our experience so far in Las Vegas. We went down to Fremont, spent a good part of the day. We only stayed until around four o'clock and then we came back to the strip. Anything you want to add? This is Catherine's work, calling her on vacation. Um, this is yeah, what this looks I'm, like. Day six, we didn't do too badly thanks to Chris. Again, he is a champ. I mean, it, the winning streaks that this guy gets on video poker, I am really jealous and I feel like at some point the tides are going to turn, but 
I don't know. I, I don't want to take his luck away, but I would like a little for myself. If, I don't know if that's asking too much. It might be. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm perfectly fine the way things are. We only lost about $116. We are almost reaching that, that $1,000 threshold for losses. And honestly, we're doing so well that I think probably... Um, I know that sounds really bad, but for us, it's actually pretty good <laughs> because we're used to losing a lot more. So I think maybe we'll do something a little crazy on the last day or maybe the last two days and, and really put some money in some slot machines and try our chances, right? Because mm -hmm. we we're definitely going home with more money than we thought we would. So things might get a little crazy. Stay tuned for that.